OK, so you've got your new laptop or desktop with Windows 11 installed and you go to set it up, you select your keyboard, you connect it to the Internet, but then you find that there's no way of creating a local user. You have to set it up with a Microsoft account. Now, obviously, not everybody wants to set up their system with a Microsoft account. So how do you bypass it? How do you set up a local account with just a username, a typical username like your name, not having to connect it to a Microsoft account when you get your laptop or desktop? All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, I'm just setting up this computer for the very first time. I don't want to set up a Microsoft account on it. What I want to do is I want to set up a local account like I have done always all the way through from using Windows 95, I believe. That's when they started coming out with these usernames. Windows 10, when it first came out, you could just set up a local account. They tried to get you to go into a Microsoft account with it, but you could by default set up a local account. Then, then a little while after that, they made you set up a Microsoft account when setting up Windows 10. Now, it was quite easy to get around. All you'd do is just make sure that your computer wasn't connected to the internet at that time when you was originally setting it up. So you'd say, no, I don't have internet. Now, unfortunately, Windows 11 doesn't give you that option, but there's a very, very easy way to bypass it. No changes to coding is going to be needed on this one. So once this PC is restarted, then we're going to have a look. OK, so if you see this come up, let's name your device. Now, this is actually naming your computer or your laptop. This is not your name they want here. This is a name for the device. Now, the best thing I've found to do is let them choose a name for it. So move your mouse over, skip for now, just at the bottom, just there and left click once. Not all PCs give you that option, but don't worry if it doesn't. OK, so here we've got the first message saying unlock your Microsoft experience. Sign in with your Microsoft account and create the experience you want. Customize preferences, sync content and security settings across devices and discover products and services relevant to you. So there you go. Accelerate your device setup. Make your Windows device set up fast and easy by restoring your existing Windows preferences. Control privacy and subscription preferences. View, manage and update your privacy and data settings and your subscription preferences in one place. Personal your Windows experience, customize your Microsoft start feed with widgets and personalized content and quickly access your recent files and favorite games. Access Microsoft 365 for free. Use free versions of your favorite Microsoft 365 productivity apps, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and more and get five gigabytes of cloud storage. So it all sounds good, but I know a lot of people just don't like attaching their computer to Microsoft as much as they don't have to. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click move our mouse over sign in and left click once and the circle is going to spin for a little bit. And there we go. It's now asking you to add your Microsoft account. Now, there's no way you can get out of this, unfortunately. So what we're going to have to do, though, is we can type in here an email address. We're going to type in no at thank you dot com. So that's no at thank you dot com. All in lowercase and no spaces. Type it in just as it's shown on the screen right now. If you need to pause this video to write this down, then please do so. Unpause it. Come back to it for the next step. So once you've typed in no at thank you dot com, just click next. And then it's going to ask you for a password. Now type in anything, absolutely anything here. Can you see a, mi a mixture of random letters and numbers? It really doesn't matter. There you go. That's what I've just typed. And then click sign in. And then you're going to get this. Oops, something went wrong. Someone has entered an incorrect password for this account too many times. To help protect you, we've temporarily locked your account. Please try again later. So click on next then and this circle will spin around and here you go it says it's asking for your name so it's now going to set up your windows with a local account rather than a microsoft account so it says who's going to use this device you'll use this name to sign into your device so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to type my name there so you type your name or the name you want to set up as your local account and then move your mouse over next 
and left click once. As you can see there, they're still trying to badger you to use an online account or a Microsoft account, but don't worry. It says also there, is this account for a child or a teenager? If so, consider signing in with a Microsoft account. When younger family members log in with a Microsoft account, they'll have privacy protections focused on their age. Parents and guardians can also set up a family group with the Microsoft Family Safety, and you can click that box to learn more. But if you don't want to, just click on next, and then it's gonna ask you to enter a password. Now, if you don't want a password, then just ignore that. But if you do want a password, type it in. So I'm not going to set a password, so I'm just going to leave that blank and left click next. And the circle's spinning around again. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. And there you go. It's going to ask us a few questions. And what I generally do on these, I just say no to all of these, to be quite honest with you. You can read through if you want and select your own required settings, but I'm just going to say no to everything there. So just scrolling down, go to no, go to accept. Again, no, accept. And there we go. It's now going to continue the setup. So there you go. That is a very, very easy way with no tricky amendments to make to the system to set up Windows 11 on a new computer with a local account from the outset. No need to set up with a Microsoft account whatsoever. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that and you're looking for other technology related things, then please have a look in the description of this video. If you're looking for my Amazon store with all the stuff that I've seen in the past and loved on the Amazon store, then you can see it in there. If you're looking for a new VPN, there's links to VPNs in there. There's also links to Fire Sticks, Fire TV cubes and Fire Stick accessories if you're thinking about getting one of those too. Donating, buying or subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And by the way, if you was wondering, I set this up using the latest version of Windows as of November 23. That's Windows 11 23 H2. And that hack still works. And as you can see, Windows 11 has now booted up. And let's just go into settings. And there we go. As you can see up the top there, it's got Chris and it's a local account. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you.